try it all But wow is it always close Ranging from a movie scene To made of people in my dreams The last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if Where I'm going isn't far Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am ready for the day now. It's actually a week today till my first January exam. We've got three exams. They are all formative exams, so they're essentially like mock exams. They don't actually count to passing the year or anything like that. But we have three to do next week. We've got a written paper, a multiple choice paper, and a anatomy practical exam. They are gonna be on the last semester that we've just done so we'll be covering renal and nervous system this week is revision week so we don't really have any lectures apart from two pharmacology tutorials that they've kind of shoehorned in to the end of the term there's also an anatomy drop-in session on friday which i think i'll make use of but other than that there's actually nothing else on this week so it's purely for revision which is good because these exams are in person and i have not sat an in-person exam since my biology finals in 2018 which was nearly four years ago now i think i've decided because these exams don't count I'm just not gonna put too much pressure on myself. I'm just gonna take it day by day. I'm gonna go through my notes, do my Anki, make sure that I'm sort of getting the key big topics in my head and then we'll see how we do. If it seems like I'm not like going really hard with the revision, that is why it's just like not worth stressing myself out too much because they're not real. Obviously in the summer it will be a different story, but right now, it's chill. This morning I have just been catching up with my Anki. I'm gonna pop to the shop in a minute quickly and then go to campus for the day because I've got my tutorial on campus later anyway. So I feel like working in the library. I got myself comfy in a study booth on campus and went over a lecture on nerve damage that I didn't really focus on very well the first time. And I also watched a few YouTube videos on it as well before trying out a few of the quizzes on a website run by our uni called Sutton Brain Hub. They're actually a really good website and they have a YouTube channel linked as well, which I find really helpful when I was studying the nervous system. So I'll link their channel below because they have so many videos. After my little revision session, I then had to head to my pharmacology tutorial. So I just tried to go to my tutorial, went to the wrong building, figured out I was in the wrong building because I couldn't find the room, went to the right building, you needed your student ID to get into the building, I don't have my student ID do I? And because I'm late, there's nobody else hanging around to let me in, so I text Harry but I think they're already like 10 minutes into the session and I don't really want to like make him come out and like disturb it so they're running an online version of the tutorial tomorrow for people who are isolating so i think i'm just gonna do it then massive fail following my failed attempt at finding the tutorial i decided to get my workout done before heading home at golden hour and spotting a very big moon Before dinner, I decided to get some more revision done and I was mainly focusing on pharmacology of the eye. I was really bored of flashcards by this point in the day, so I decided to make a summary poster of everything we'd learned. Thank you. 
I have just had some dinner. I have finished all the revision I'm going to do today. And now I'm going to go and lie in bed. I'm going to watch the new episode of Euphoria because that's just come out on Now TV. I feel like I've been okay today. I've been productive. I've not done everything I wanted to do. But I'm not going to be hard on myself. Like I said before, these are just formative exams. It's not the end of the world if they don't go well. On Wednesday, I decided to head home to pool for a few days because I did fancy a change of scene and I thought it would be nice to see mum and dad and of course my one true love, Macy the Jack Russell. Hello! Hello baby! Hello. Say hello! Say hello everyone! This is Macy. I managed to make the second pharmacology tutorial of the week because it was online, so I didn't have a chance to get lost. At some point, my mum decided I looked hungry, so proceeded to feed me an array of snacks and bottomless cups of tea, which to be honest, was exactly what I was hoping for when I decided to go home in the first place. Thank you. That's that. What else? Did you want some red velvet? The rest of the afternoon consisted of yet more snacks while I got through my Anki flashcards. I realised I'd been struggling with the renal system flashcards the most, so I decided to recap all things kidney because I'd started to panic that maybe I'd spent too much time focusing on the nervous system. In the evening, some of the fourth and fifth years from the ENT Society at uni ran an anatomy revision session on Teams, which was so helpful. Once I'd finished this, I decided to spend the evening binge watching Cheer on Netflix. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We've made it to the end of the week. I am in a bit of a rush because I've got to go to the hospital now for the anatomy revision session. So it's basically a drop in and I think they're just going to sort of be there if we have any questions but also I think they're going to be setting up the cadavers like they're going to be in the exam. I do think it's important that I go because I may even get some of the answers for the anatomy exam. I don't know if I've explained but the anatomy practical is basically we go into the lab and the cadavers will have like, you know, labels and we'll have to say what, what thing is being labelled. I've not explained that very well because I'm in a rush. So I am just going to catch the bus to the hospital now and then go to campus afterwards. So this morning I literally just did Anki again but yeah that's literally my life at the moment. Anki in the morning, Anki in the afternoons but it's nice to break it up with a trip to the hospital for this lab but I need to go now because I'm going to miss the bus. My mum is watching this, that went really well. So that was our anatomy and vision session. We were surprised with how much we knew actually, I think. Yeah. I think the thing that I find hardest is like, a cadaver is very different to a diagram. I always think everything's a nerve and then it turns out to be an artery or a vein. <laughs> but we can't tell the difference. It definitely went better than expected. I'm feeling more relaxed for the exam, I think. Yeah. Than I was anyway, but. I still don't think I'm going to do brilliantly. It's alright. It's alright. Get the Yankee in now. Get the Yankee in. Summatives. Yeah, that's yeah, the main yeah. thing. The main thing is that we're ready for the summer. So it's fine. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. After the anatomy revision session, I headed back to the library to get some more flashcards done. At 
about three, I met up with Harry to get some revision done together because I'd actually booked one of the study rooms. We mainly went over sensory and motor pathways, which, spoiler alert, did not actually come up in the exam at all. Yeah, you're retaining uh, the movement of ions in the movement. Do you know that? Do you know no. this? You don't. We only had the room booked for a couple of hours, so afterwards I got back to my Anki, but that didn't last very long because Malika invited me to join a different study room. Hello everyone. We are currently doing a revision session. Everyone say hi. Hello. Um <laughs> We are doing a revision session to finish off the week. Lovely Friday evening. There she is. Oh, it focused. Um, so yes, it's not that exciting. We are doing motor neuron disease. Um, if you can comment a fact about motor neuron disease, I will make sure Lydia follows you on Instagram. It was nice to go over things with other people, even if it was a bit chaotic, but it was definitely nice to sort of talk through ideas with other people, even if it did make me panic a little bit when I realized there was things I just didn't know. Hey guys. Uh, oh. Hey everybody. Yeah. So when, when you have a lesion in your brain, I've lost the world to live. I ended up leaving the library at about 7.30 because Jack and I had a double date booked in at Franco Manca and to be honest, this pizza was the highlight of my entire week. Excuse the dishevelled look, I've had quite a long day. I've just got back from Franco Manca. We went for dinner with Jack's friends, Connor and Jess, who are actually junior doctors at Southampton General. I am gonna do a little bit more Anki now. I'm gonna end the day how I started it with some Anki. And then I think Jack and I are just gonna watch a film because it is getting quite late and it is a Friday night. I am feeling the pressure a bit more now. I think studying with other people was helpful, but it did kind of make me nervous because you realize that other people know more than you. Normally I'm fine just going at my own pace, but tonight I I kind of realized that maybe I don't know as much as I think I know but obviously studying with other people like that is good it is a good thing it just also can be quite scary if they know more than you hello all right all right just revising isn't it yeah are you going to the vlog <laughs> do you want to say anything or formative exams don't matter good point Good morning everyone. Excuse the appearance. It is quite early in the morning and it is the day before my exam, which is exciting. I've had to get up quite early this morning because I very stupidly forgot to book today off work. So I'm working at the pub for most of the day. I have managed to use my negotiation skills to get an earlier finish so I'm doing 11.30 till 4. I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself about the work situation but there's nothing I can do about it now. I just have to go and I need the money so. It is the day before my exam. I have an exam Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week so this is, this is it really. Currently I feel quite relaxed. We'll see how I'm feeling this evening after I've done my final day of revision. But I'll show you quickly my to-do list for today or my plan of action. So I'm going to do today's Anki cards that are due this morning before work. And then after work, I have got a few ideas of what I want to do. That includes going over topics that I have listed that I'm not very good at. 
um, any exam style cues I can find on Blackboard, but I don't know how many there's going to be. And then sort of doing mind map summaries of all the big topics. I thought I could do like a mind map for pharmacology, everything I know, like dump it on a page and then add in anything I missed and then do the same for pathology, physiology, blah, 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 blah. So that's my kind of plan for the day. I'm not going to stay up late revising. Um, I didn't have a very good sleep last night, so I feel like I'm just going to do all I can today. It is a formative exam. It doesn't matter if I fail. Um... So today is just about consolidating, doing everything I can, but also staying relaxed because it's not a big deal. I'm going to get on with Anki now, but first I'm going to have breakfast and a cup of tea because I need energy. I need energy. <laughs> As you can see, I decided to get my whiteboard involved with my Anki at this point. I think it's nice to be able to drop my ideas down somewhere and just scribble things and not have to worry about making mistakes. Everything faded, we were face to face, the world didn't matter, we was on that mood swing. I'd also got to the point in pre-exam nerves where I was talking to myself. Enter Capone, Opa Capone, Al Capone. I'm on my way to work. I did not finish all my Anki cards, but it's okay. I'm still feeling good. I've got this evening. I've just got to get through the next four hours at work. This isn't ideal, but it is my fault. I probably should have booked the time off. I was in a daze, you were in a maze. Still don't know what happened. Everything faded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face yeah, yeah. To face. We did the life to my town. And then I'd be like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Time is now quarter to five and I'm gonna head to the library for the last push on revision. I don't like to cram the night before an, an exam, so I'm not gonna like overdo it. I'm just gonna do a few hours until I get tired and need some dinner. And then we're gonna stop revision and have a chilled Sunday evening. I feel like I have a lot of energy right now, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna flag in about an hour's time. But I'm bringing a coffee, so. I'm just playing it safe. Everyone knows when you're on the fifth floor of the library, you mean business. If anyone breathes too loud, you get stared at. So I thought this would be the best place for me to get my last evening of revision done. Safe to say that I'm just playing it safe. For some reason, it was freezing cold and I eventually couldn't take it anymore so I ended up moving to a warmer floor. Once I'd done all my flashcards for the day I decided to make summary posters of all of the pharmacology we covered this time which was a lot and I also went over the harder physiology stuff we'd learned in neuro as well. Then at around 8pm I hit a brick wall and could focus no more so I decided to head home for the evening. So I'm back from the library slightly earlier than planned. It got to like 8 o'clock. I just wasn't really concentrating anymore. I think because I'm tired. I do keep reminding myself these are just formative exams. I know I've said that multiple times in this vlog. I've done what I can. It's not a big deal. I think somebody as well sent me a DM on Instagram like, why are you stressing? You don't need to stress. And I was like, hun, you're right. I don't. I don't need to stress. So I've come home. I'm going to have some spaghetti bolognese with Jack. I'm gonna leave out my stuff and my outfit for tomorrow and then I'm just gonna have an early night, chill in bed, not stress myself out. I think what's done is done. Oh, I need to check on my bolognese. Oh, looks good to me. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me this week. I am gonna vlog 
my exam week as well because I feel like it'll be interesting because those exams are in person and I've not sat an in-person exam in like four years so that will be fun. Anyway, I will let you know how I get on in the exams. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.